I first grabbed this long planter from Dollar Tree. And then using some Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, all I did was just paint the top edge of the planter as well as a little bit of the inside. I ended up only doing one coat. You want to just allow that to completely dry before moving on to the next step. I then just grabbed a various amount of different card stocks or scrapbook paper. You can find these at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. But all I started doing was just ripping the scrapbook paper into random squares or just rip them however you would like. There really is no right or wrong way to do this. Just start ripping the scrapbook paper. Now that you have a nice pile of the ripped up paper, you want to grab the planter, lay down some Mod Podge, and then just start piling on the ripped up paper. And just put different designs next to each other. I tried to make sure that not two of the same designs are right next to each other. I wanted this to look very collage-like. And just make sure that you add a little bit more Mod Podge as you add more of that scrapbook paper to make sure that it completely adheres. Again, there is no right or wrong way to do this. You literally just have to start covering up the entire planter. So I did do this all around the outer part of the planter. I didn't record myself doing the entire planter for the sake of the video. I didn't want you guys sitting here forever, but once you have those pieces of paper all put down, if you have a little excess on the edges, just use a sanding block and just start sanding that right off. And once your planter is completely covered, look at how cute this is, I love it. Go ahead and just seal it with another coat of Mod Podge. Let that dry, and since I'll be using this for real plants or flowers, I'm using this triple thick glaze. I'm just giving this two good coats of this sealant. You then just want to allow that to completely dry, and then go ahead and put your plants or flowers inside, and this fit perfectly on the back side of that radio flyer tricycle that I got from Goodwill not too long ago. But there you go, guys. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.